When I was diagnosed with a craniopharyngioma and they said, we have a brain tumor, I said, well, could this explain my behavior? <laughs> and they said, possibly. I said, good, I have an excuse. I have a big parachute. My story actually begins in the psychiatric ward of St. Vincent's Hospital in Valhalla, New York. At 12 years old, I want to kill myself, take a gun to my head, swallow a cabinet full of pills, whatever will stop my pain. It's been two years now of unrelenting depression, no periods, vision loss, face full of acne, and still no answers. Except at that time, I thought to take my own life. Basically, I lived with a secret that I couldn't tell anyone because I was too ashamed, and it went on for 15 years that I kept the secret. No one knew what was happening to me and my body, um, and not even myself. You know, all growing up as a hockey player, and all through puberty, and I'm in the locker room, I see my friends, the guys on the hockey team, and people are going through, all the guys are going through changes. Uh, physically, and I really wasn't, or it was like really small, minor changes. They were turning into men, and I was sort of stagnant. I played hockey really well, and I focused all my energy onto the rink. I put on my equipment, and it was like an equalizing force, and I could compete with the bigger, stronger guys. Basically, I was sexually disabled, and I avoided sex altogether instead of having, dealing with it. I mean, because it just, it, it wasn't fun. It was the opposite. It was really, it was sad. You know, I just, I just wanted to be normal. You know, I didn't want to be like Mr. Macho. I didn't want to be like a super sex god or anything. I just want to be a normal guy. And I didn't know why I couldn't be. the abnormally high hormone was due to stress and now the obesity. But it could not be responsible for the laundry list of complaints that I had. Many of them just offered, as you probably know, the same thing, better diet and more exercise. I knew I was, and most of them insinuated I was doing this to myself, that I was a compulsive overeater with a mental disorder. Many of my friends, unfortunately, had the same thoughts because they had never seen someone so rapidly gain the weight that I was doing. And on top of which, my mind was not sharp like it had once been. All the doctors say I lack motivation. I need to move more, make more friends, and buy some stock in the ClearCell and OxyPad companies for the rest of my adolescence. They were quite wrong. A normal, happy-go-lucky athletic girl simply does not stop functioning and does simply not stop living. There must be an answer, and indeed there was. Little did they know, that all my problems came as a result of a brain tumor parked in my pituitary gland. 
This macro-sized monster was taking over my body.